Hi folks, the microbalance is generally the basis of a model. And we distinguish microbalances in rectangular coordinates, cylindrical coordinates, and in spherical coordinates. Now, in rectangular coordinates, we generally look at a one dimensional case between x and x plus dx. In uh, cylindrical coordinates or in spherical coordinates, we generally look at situations where we look at r and r plus dr. This base is generally the basis for generally, for let's say, finding a lot of things. Let's assume that we have a steady state conduction through a thick plate, for example. So we have a plate and we have a conduction, phi q through it. Then we could say, well, we could distinguish here in between a layer between x and x plus dx, and look what is happening. Well, if we have steady state, you could say steady state means that the heat flow entering on x minus the heat flow entering on x plus dx is zero because in this case it is steady state and of course energy is conserved. So this results in the following equation. It means that we have here di phi q dx. And well, to be correctly, it should be a minus, but because here is a zero, we get immediately this. Or we can rewrite this or saying phi q is constant. This is not surprisingly because the heat which enters here should also leave here. In a similar way, you could set up this balance also in cylindrical coordinates. And this results in phi q on the place r minus phi q r plus dr, which gives a relation of di, di phi q dr is zero. And in this case, you get, of course, also phi q is constant. You could ask what's the difference between, well, in first instance, nothing, because the energy which enters here, phi q, will also leave here. But assume you want to answer the question, what's the temperature profile in between r and dr, or between x or dx? You have to substitute, in the case of heat conduction, Fourier's law. And if you would do that, then you get the following, phi q is Fourier's law multiplied by the surface area between which the heat is transferred. And in this case you get phi q is in cylindrical coordinate dr multiplied also by the surface area. But in this case the surface area is also dependent on the radius. So we get 2 pi r multiplied by the length of the cylinder. So you see, if you look at the both equations, you see that here an r dependence incomes. And if you do it for a sphere, you get phi q is similar equation, but now we have the surface of a sphere in it. So you see different dependency. Here you see a r dependency, an r squared dependency, and here only your x dependency. So if you solve these equations, you will see that you get three different temperature profiles. The first one is linear, the second one will be containing a logarithm, and the third one will be have a reciprocal value of r in it. So try these equations and look and compare those with each other. And try to set up a, a micro balance by yourself, because that's easy to do it for steady state. Later on, we can do it also for unsteady state situations. Thanks.